Okay, I'm back with a quick video update here. It's been a little bit, and I uh, just thought I'd just show a quick update. Thought this was kind of neat. Um, this is uh, uh, focused on Neo Geo uh, development, but um, anyways, I had a uh, sprite demo that I showed a video of a week or so ago, and um, uh, finally got around to figuring out how to get it to compile and successfully burn it to a CD for the uh, Neo Geo uh, CD system and uh, struggled for a while but um, the developer of the Neo uh, Bits uh, Neo Dev Kit uh, uh, took the time to help me through some emails uh, so great you know definitely a big you know thanks to him uh, for that, but I was just wanted to show um, over here. It's kind of a little dark, unfortunately, and my office is definitely a bit of a mess. But uh, you know, here's just a regular, you know, Memorex, you know, CDR, nothing fancy, and um, you know, just put it in there. I just have one of the, uh, you know, the uh, single speed Neo Geo CD systems, not a CDZ, and just turn it on. And uh, there's the uh, you know the usual opening screen for the system. Okay, and um, I put a region switch on my system on the back of it so I can toggle between U.S. and Japanese. So I have it in U.S. mode. Uh, that right there, if you see push start button blinking, that means the system uh, determined that the disk you have and it does have bootable uh, code in it which is really neat just to see that blink and definitely I went through probably upwards of 15-20 CD, CDR discs so just right here just gonna press start and you know what's nice is the uh, system actually on its own knows to put the uh, you know that boot screen up there with the uh, monkey you know, juggling the ball so that was pretty cool to see and there we go, there's my uh, my really basic, you know, sprite demo, nothing fancy. Uh, I, you know, upgraded it to build, you know, 009, not that it's too exciting, it's really not all that different, but it's really nice to actually see this running on the real hardware, so I thought that was pretty cool. You know, so again, there's the, uh, the system, <laughs> can't really see it so dark in here. But there's my uh, Neo Geo CD system next to my Super Famicom. Uh, and also for anyone who gets into arcade stuff, I also have my X-Men Children of the Atom uh, Capcom CPS2 system with a homemade super gun system so I can, you know, play that on this uh, TV as well, so I thought that was kind of cool. But anyways, uh, you know, there's the demo. And uh, you can see up here... I'm not quite sure exactly uh, what's causing that. I thought that was kind of interesting. Don't know if it's just um, that my TV is off a couple pixels on the uh, uh, vertical alignment, or if that actually is a uh, a glitch that would be present on anything else uh, that I would possibly create with this. Not sure, but uh, no big deal at this point. As I'm just you know pretty happy to see code actually running properly on the system. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I definitely, uh, for the uh, ColecoVision uh, uh, collectors who watch my channel on YouTube, I definitely am planning on uh, doing a progress update and getting back to work on Monster Bash again. Um, I definitely kind of neglected that for a little bit, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, just wanted to give this quick update on this one okay uh, other than that uh, you know uh, maybe in the next uh, few weeks as well um, I might also try my hand at a uh, mini uh, game for the Neo Geo and hopefully uh, release a uh, you know a uh, sample you know ROM or CD image for everyone to enjoy so you know see how that goes but um, thanks again to uh, you know uh, Jeff you know, at uh, NeoBits for all the help on the tools and for helping explain how to you know, get this thing to burn and um, boot off of a uh, CDR on the real hardware. Okay, take care everyone. Bye.